something new Pearl Linux OS 1.05 the Mate version hmm it looks like Mac is back <laughs> Alright, this is Perl Linux, the latest version. I couldn't get much off the website, but apparently this is a, a rebirth, a redo, I guess, of last year's now uh, defunct uh, Pear Linux OS. If you recall, uh, that one there didn't last too long. Um, it was meant to, the interface was meant to resemble, I guess, a Mac uh, operating system. Uh, this is Mate, but it does have a Mac-style dock here at the bottom. But officially, uh, this is the Mate version of Perl Linux. There is an XFCE version. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, bear in mind, I don't have a Mac computer. I'm somewhat familiar with the uh, Mac operating system. But let's take a look at this and see what we have. And being that this has one of my favorite Linux desktop environments, Mate, this is off to a good start already. So this is the default desktop here, running this inside a virtual box. I did have some issues installing this inside a virtual box, but I finally got this to run. I do like the uh, black and white uh, background, the colors here, uh, very easy on the eyes, and I wear contact lenses. It looks like you have a nice choice here of uh, wallpapers. Um, let's try that one. That's what we have. Okay, looks good to me. All right, so we have the normal mate panel here at the top. It looks like these uh, icons are the spacing's all wrong. But once again, I, I did have an issue installing this inside a virtual box. But let's move along. Uh, let's see. This is power. Okay, looks like we got some sound effects and the volume control. Okay, very good. All right, there's my mic there. And this has the buttons on the left. I guess this is normal in a Mac computer. I, Me being right-handed, I would prefer to have them on the right. I'm not sure if we can change that, but let's move along. All right, connections. Click on a window to force the application to quit. Okay, I've seen that before. And this is a little search function here. Okay, very good. Of course, I do love the ability to right-click and add a little uh, applets uh, very nice I've so I've shown you this before of course time and date and the usual shortcuts here uh, you can add the mate menu if you add to panel click that right click add to panel just type in menu uh, advanced mate menu add and if you so choose you can go with that version there like that and this will give you something that you've seen before with Linux Mint if you want to do to delete that right click and remove from panel you can add it later if you want to all right the shortcuts he, here at the bottom this is using I guess what is this docky okay uh, one of my I don't use doc panels uh, docs that much if I were to use uh, I, my favorite would be probably Cairo doc so we have docky the Thunar file manager okay that's cool I love the use of the default color scheme here what we see I keep wanting to go to the right for the buttons the mate terminal this is running pretty smooth here in a virtual box so far all right, cheese webcam screenlets. I remember screenlets. It's like little widgets to add to your um, yeah desktop. I forget. Is it? No, you can't drag. <laughs> like in Kaboom, to just grab and uh, drag it over the desktop. I guess you need to launch it and restart and all that stuff. But I'll uh, I'll get out of this for now. But it's a nice little option if you so choose to have this. All right, Chromium web browser SM player. I've heard of this. Looks like there was a new version. Okay, very nice. Uh, let's see, the SM Player YouTube browser. Interesting. Uh, let's see if the search function works here. Toss today. Enter. All right, that was actually pretty fast. Cool. Uh, let's see. All right, 
webcam viewer, very nice, GUVC view. The GIMP, FileZilla Kaja. Will it load? Kaja, Kaja? I guess not. Okay, Control Center, Application Browser, and the actual control panel, first of all, moving on, we got Trash, Workspace, and my Internet. The control panel really is under Control Center, rather. Uh, let's see if anything here catches my eye about me. Looks like Compass is installed very good. Compass on and off. Um, yeah, Mate Mate Tweak. Uh, let's take the Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, good. Let's take a look at Mate Tweak. Uh, desktop, I guess you could add. Yeah, icon shortcuts, as you can see here, to the desktop. Very good interface and the window let's go to interface um buttons uh traditional there we go all right now it's much easier okay now i got my buttons to my right where they should be all right very good so far this is actually looking and running pretty good let's go to applications accessories let's see if anything else catches my eye education bible time hmm all right, to add multiple works, let's close. Uh, there are currently no works installed. Install works, all right, I'm game. Crosswire, Bible study, whoa, what's the warning? If you live in a persecuted country and don't want to risk their detection, don't use, holy crap, I, I better get out of this. Jeez, this operating system is dangerous. I'm just kidding. Internet, um, Ether, Ape, I've never heard of that. No capture device. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's move along here. Uh, let's see. Graphics. We looked at that. Um, C Monkey Suite. Okay. Office, of course. WPS instead of LibreOffice. I've actually messed with this before. This is actually pretty nice, also. Okay. These are. Uh, templates. Anyway, moving along. Uh, let's see. Programming, dev help, sound and video. Audacity is very good. Uh, Spatry's favorite. <laughs> CD, DVD burner. Cheese, Clementine. Hairbreak is very good. Transcode stuff. Pulse audio volume control. And the VLC, very good. System tools, bleach bit. bit very good and let's see anything else catches my let's look at the uh, system monitor 400 megabytes okay so far so good anything else I miss universal access nope well what can I say my very first look at this I like the default color scheme theme the use of icons so far uh, if this is meant to resemble a Mac, uh, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, the dock at the bottom, not sure if I would keep it, but I can see where this could, um, you know, come in handy. So, yeah, I like what I see. It's still fairly new. Uh, this is version 1.5. I will have a link below in the show notes if you wanted to take a look at this. But that's my look at Pearl Linux. Mate version 1.5. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.